It's called the Winyard Loop. I wonder does it have a beep beep? This could be interesting. Lovely little tram, and I better make my way over to Paul, otherwise I might miss it. to Winyard Quarter and it's an area of Auckland surrounded by water. We've got the marina with lots of expensive yachts around and it's also quite a big business area. There's lots of hotels, some amazing buildings to have a look at as well. But the main reason that we are here today is to go on the Dock Line tram. It only runs once a week on a Sunday so you have to be quick and it takes a little one and a half kilometre route, I believe, around the area. There's a cautionary sign there. If you're on a bicycle, watch out for the tram tracks or you might take a bit of a tumble. Great news. The Dockline tram is running today. And as I said, it's only on Sundays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And for an adult, it's only $2.00. We have our four dollars ready. This is the first day that I've been able to wear short sleeves. We're expecting a temperature that could hit around 20 Celsius today. It's called the Winyard Loop. I wonder does it have a beep beep? This could be interesting. Lovely little tram, and I better make my way over to Paul, otherwise I might miss it. Well done, Paul. I have the money ready. Let the passengers are off first. Are you two travelling or just... Oh yes, we're ready. Oh, we're all oh, ready. Okay. So, both cash is in? Yeah. Okie doke. Now your ticket's all day. That oh, goes okay. through till port to four. The tram goes in at four o'clock. Great, thank you. You can jump you. on and off as many times as you like and Thank do you, you have a special interest in trams uh yes, yes well <laughs> maybe not trams uh, specifically but public transport buses uh, yeah. everything yeah trains in there please okay and you get two tickets lovely mind the seven okay killer. okay <laughs> thank you right i shall take off when you're seated with my driving you need to be seated <laughs> with the walking group i mean you can have a good sit down and go around a couple of times and get the story of the tram in the area before you get off. Um, it's up to you, but you, know, you might as well get your money's worth. Or two dollars of it. <laughs> now it may surprise you to know that this is a Melbourne tram. Because if you know Melbourne, the trams there are green. But because this little girl is working in the heart of Auckland, and I'm just going to slow here. Can you see the people in orange up on the ledge at Sky Tower? Yes. Oh. They're doing the Sky Tower walk and possibly the jump. That's $200. Oh. Makes your tram fare really cheap. Okay, keeping going. So this little tram is painted in Auckland colours from the 1930s onwards. Not just any old red, but carnation red. Tram away while I'm here, please. Oh, 
and the combs tip the trip falling over and the dogs come from the inside of the ground. The thingy is a cone that's tipped over and the yellow and black stripe central part of the cone. Oh, one of those things. I'm looking forward to having some bacon for lunch. So she's redoing. It's not the driver. Um, this tram just has one truck, or the correct term is a bogey underneath it. And so there's a fair bit of tram before and behind that bogey. And so she does wibble wobble about a bit. Also, this is a very tight corner for a tram. And so we do a bit of squeaking and grunching and lurching as we come round and into the stop. Tram. 
came out. You guys that are interested in Realm Lock on Realm can have a look at that at some point. That's a two bogey tram. Not as pretty, but she flows much more smoothly. Also a next Melbourne tram. A number of Auckland's trams went on to have a second luck. that be? You know what to do? Please subscribe to its poll and like us on YouTube. Yay! Right, last time we went round, I was telling everybody a little bit about the tram. This time round, to talk a bit about the area. This is Jellico Street. Wining and dining, heart of the Windyard Quarter. Restaurants, about 15 different ethnicities down here. The fish market on your right sells fresh fish to take home and also fish and chips for lunch. Down here, we've got a little cafe on the left, Rushworth's. If you want tea, coffee, cake, sandwich. And next to it, Gelatiano that sells I C E C R E A M. Coming up on the left is the Karanga Plaza. And the bridge that takes you to the bottom of town and the Maritime Museum, which is free for Aucklanders. And of course the event centre there. Fashion Week took part in the event centre a couple of weeks ago, once it was reclaimed back from Emirates, New Zealand. Hi there. to know that the far side of Victoria Park was Auckland's original shoreline and the building over there was one of the early council buildings. The chimney was because Auckland's rubbish was burnt there and that carried on right up till the 1970s which is pretty extraordinary. Initially of course horses and carts would take the rubbish there and later on tip trucks. The building is a Heritage One listed building and if you're interested in architecture it's worth a wee trot over there. Just sit here for a moment till the brakes pump up. <laughs> oh, you can hear them pumping there. That noise is the air brake. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 
Right, we're good to go. to reclaim the land. So I personally found an old inkwell and an ink bottle um, just outside the tram barn, tossed up by the digging. Well, we've just got off the tram and yeah, lots of people getting on down at this particular stop. It goes on a little loop and only takes about 12 or 15 minutes depending on whether anyone has parked on the track. And of course, because it only runs on a Sunday, maybe some people don't expect it to be there. To the tram depot now where the tram that's not running today is sitting idle here so we are going to take a little look at this one too this is a slightly larger model we were told it has the four sets of doors rather than just the two so it's double the size 